Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to be learning how to recreate this beautiful interactive slider using Protopy. And let's get started. As you can see, I already exported my designs from Figma to Protopy to make this video a little shorter. And the first thing that we need to do is to add the drag motion to the thumb of our slider. For that, we select the, third, the circle. We go here in Add Trigger and look for Drag. Once we have the trigger, we, want, we need to add the response and we need to move this circle. So the thumb is already selected and the direction of this movement is horizontal. And we need a limit because we don't want the circle to go out of this rectangle that is underneath. So we select Custom Limit and here we have a minimum and maximum extremes. And for that, we need to come back here to our circle and check for those values. The minimum is around 61 and the maximum is around 319. So with those values, we come back to the move response type 61 and 319. And then we check in our preview screen. As you can see, the limits are working pretty well. Now what we need to do is to create a variable that will take the value of the position of the slider. And for that, we come here to the variable menu. We click on the plus icon. And here we have two options, but in this case, that's a matter because we only have one scene. So I choose for all scenes. And we here we see that for our variables, we have three options, number, text, and color. And in this case, we want this to be a number. Now that we have the variable, we need to link this to the X position of our circle here. And for that, we come here and add trigger. We choose chain and we want to chain the position X of our thumb. And these we need to assign to our variable one that we just created. Here for the value that our variable will receive, we need to do like a little conversion because we don't want the exact X position of our circle. And so here we type the range and we already know the range from the move response that we just create. And the range for the X is 61 and 319. And we want our variable to take values from zero to 100. Now we wanna see if this variable is taking the right values. We need to activate the debug option here. This will create this little screen. And then we go to preview. And as we can see, it is taking the right value. Now what we need to do is to take the value of our variable and put it in the text that is being displayed on the screen. And for that, what we're gonna do is to add another trigger. And this trigger is called detect. What detect does is to do a certain response when it detects that something has changed. And for us, that something is the value of the variable. So basically when the variable change, the, this will assign the new value to the text. So in this, we look for res the response to be text. And the text layer that we want is the only one that we have, but is the zero one. And the value is formula. And we know that this value is variable. We choose variable here. And now we can go to a preview and see that our, now the text is taking the value of the variable, but we don't want all the numbers after the decimal. So we need to do a little change here. Here we go back to the formula and we're going to use the method called round. And this will fix it. We go back to preview and now it's working pretty well. And now our slider is almost done. The last thing that we need to do is to make the width of the, re the rectangle to also change depending on the position of the thumb. And we're going to do that by using again the trigger detect because the width of the rectangle is also related to the position of the thumb, which is related to the variable that is that the tag is looking at. So here we need to look for another response, and this is called scale because we want to scale the width. And here we look for the bar, and the value of the width 
is, if you look at here, is the value of x of the circle minus the original x of the of the bar, or the or a better better say the x of the left extreme of the bar, and that value. We need to click on for to get that value. We need to click on the bar, and here we can see that it's 41, and it's measuring the scenes this little dot that we see here. So with the value 41, we come here in scale. We click on width formula, and here we're looking for the for the thumb. We click on plus, look for thumb. Now tap dot, and we can see all the values here, but we care about the x, and now minus. 41 and these should be working. We click on preview again. And as we can see here, this is working, but we don't want that weird animation or that weird delay. I forgot to take out the delay. So we close it, this and we want this to be instantly. So we change the duration to zero. We come back to preview. And as we can see here, our interactive slider is working perfectly. That's it. We have our interactive slider. Hopefully you learned something useful today. And if you want to learn more about Figma and Protopie, please click the subscribe button and see you in my next video.